students of class 12 today we are going to discuss example 3.8 which is an example of unbalanced wheat uh, wheat stone bridge now this is the case of unbalanced wheat stone bridge in which we have four sides and the point b and d are connected through a galvanometer having 15 ohm resistance then we have to find then we have to find the then we have to find the value of current drawn by the each arm now the resistance of the galvanometer is taken to be 15 ohm so that means the galvanometer resistance is 15 ohm 15 ohm now uh, we have to find the total current drawn by each arm of the unbalanced circuit so for finding it we first of all we apply the kirchhoff's second law for the mass b a d b and uh, for b a d b you see b is there for b a d and b so this is the uh, circuit and for that loop we have to find and we take that uh, we take that clockwise and anti clockwise direction in opposite si sign so so students for the loop b a d b we get uh, using the kirchhoff's law that 100 i1 plus 15 ig minus 60 i2 equal to 0 because in this loop there is no uh, emf applied so we have on the right side emf applied is 0 on the left side you always remember we uh, we we use the format v is equal to ir so here on the right hand side we are having v which is applied voltage which is 0 on the left hand side we always uh, algebraically add the product of current and voltage Uh, sorry uh, current and uh, current and resistance so here we have 100 i1 you see uh, the arm uh, ab is having a resistance 100 ohm and that is carrying i1 current it is carrying in clockwise direction we take it as positive so we have 100 i1 and then in arm bd you have you have current ig flowing through 15 ohm and therefore it becomes 50, it is in clockwise direction so again it becomes 15 ig that is again positive but in the arm ad you see the current is anti clockwise direction in anti clockwise direction uh, 60 ohm is the resistance of the arm ad therefore we have minus 60 i2 is equal to 0 this is one equation and similarly we calculate the uh, we got, get the collect the, uh, for, uh, the equation for uh, for loop bcdb using the kirchhoff's law and uh, and also we consider the third mesh uh, adcea and again we get the equation in the same manner exactly and on solving all these three simultaneous equations you have to do some uh, speed work yourself you try to solve all these equations the three equations you got from the three meshes and then you solve uh, one by one you will get the value of i1 you will get the value of i2 and you will get the value of ig so here you got uh, ig ig is equal to 4.87 and uh, i2 is equal to 31.5 ig so you multiply it by ig you will get the value and similarly you get the value of you will get the value of i1 uh, in the same manner so uh, you have you have found the all the three values three unknowns i1 i2 and ig you have three equations three unknowns so you get this three values so thank you and have a nice day